Understanding the phrase, meeting one's end. Hello, and welcome. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, meeting one's end. This expression is rich in meaning and usage, and understanding it can add depth to your English comprehension and conversations. So, let's unravel the layers of this phrase together. The phrase, meeting one's end, is often used to describe the moment when a life concludes, or, more bluntly, when someone dies. This phrase encapsulates the finality of life in a somewhat gentle or poetic manner. It's not just about the physical aspect of death but can also convey a sense of culmination or conclusion of one's journey. Beyond its literal meaning, meeting one's end can be used figuratively. In literature or everyday conversation, it might describe the end of an entity or concept, such as a career, a relationship, or an era. For instance, one might say, the company met its end after the economic downturn, suggesting the business's closure or failure. Let's see how this phrase works in different contexts. 1. Historical. The king met his end on the battlefield, marking the conclusion of his reign. 2. Literary. As the curtain fell, the protagonist met his end, leaving the audience in stunned silence. 3. Everyday conversation. After 20 years, the old school building finally met its end and was demolished. While meeting one's end is a commonly understood phrase, it's crucial to use it sensitively. Discussing death or endings can be delicate, and the phrase should be employed with consideration of the context and the audience's feelings. Understanding the phrase, meeting one's end, enriches your English vocabulary, allowing you to express complex ideas about life, death, and conclusion with nuance and depth. We hope this exploration has been enlightening and adds value to your language learning journey. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to our next linguistic adventure together.